हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बैक प्रेशर वाल्व बैक प्रेशर वाल्व प्रोवाइडेड इन अ रिफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम व्हाई बैक प्रेशर वाल्व इज फिटेड एंड वेयर इट इज फिटेड सो लेट्स सी वेयर द बैक प्रेशर वाल्व इज फिटेड दिस वाल्व इज फिटेड टू हाई टेंपरेचर रूम vegetable and floor only and not to the meat and fish room so as you can see in this diagram this is the three evaporation room one is the meat room one is the vegetable room one is the handling room so basically as we all know that the meat room and fish room are kept at the lower temperature around minus 15 to minus 13 degree celsius and the vegetable rooms and handling rooms are kept relatively at the higher temperature around 7 to 8 degree and therefore to maintain this temperature difference between the meat room and the veg room a back pressure valve is provided on to the side of the higher temperature room such as vegetable room and the handling room the room where we may need to maintain the lower temperature there we don't provide the back pressure valve the room where we want to provide high temperature compared to the other room we provide back pressure valve why we are doing so we are doing so so that to ensure that a single refrigeration system can be utilized to provide different room temperature and how it is doing less so what are the purpose of back pressure valve the back pressure valve has mainly two main purpose firstly when all solenoid valve are open they act as a balancing diverter and they restrict the liquid flow to the room which can be kept at the higher temperature and deliver the bulk to the colder room so what we want to say is this suppose when this all three solenoid valve is open at that time the back pressure valve will ensure that more amount of refrigeration should flow to the meat room so that more amount of heat extraction from the meat room can be done so that the desired temperature of minus 13 to 14 degree celsius can be obtained and as we need to maintain temperature of around 7 to 8 degree or 5 to 6 degree handling room so we require less amount of refrigerant for heat extraction compared to the meat and fish room so this is been done by the back pressure valve now the question come into mind how it is done so what happened so basically this serve to limit the pressure drop across the expansion valve by giving a set of minimum pressure in the evaporator coil okay so this is very important so what back pressure valve is doing back pressure valve is maintaining a set of minimum pressure inside the coil where the high temperature need to be maintained so as you all know in my earlier video i have told you that thermostatic expansion valve this is a thermostatic expansion valve the thermostatic expansion valve is basically a pressure regulator from where the pressure is high pressurized liquid refrigerant is been changed to a low pressurized liquid refrigerant and therefore if we maintain a set of minimum pressure here inside a coil in that case the during the pressure conversion from high to the low as there is already pressure inside the system the amount of flow of refrigerant through inside the system will be less compared to the amount of refrigerant flow where there is no pressure no set of minimum pressure in the coil such as meat room so as there is no set of minimum pressure in the meat room and fish room the flow of refrigerant is in is in large quantity and as 
there is certain set of minimum pressure inside the vegetable room or the handling room the flow of refrigeration is restricted and by restricting this flow we are controlling the temperature so this is how the back pressure valve maintain the temperature of the vegetable and handling room with the assistance of thermostatic and solenoid valve in a system where the whole system is one whole refrigeration system is one though we are maintaining different temperature different room temperature so what is happening by maintaining a set of minimum pressure in the epaulator coil this in turn limit the temperature of a refrigerant thereby preventing delicate push stop such as vegetable from being damaged by having air at a very low temperature blown over them ultimately they may also be provided a safety limit to the room temperature by restricting the pressure to a giving corresponding minimum saturation pressure of 0 degree celsius so we can also provide a safety limit by restricting the pressure to a corresponding minimum saturation temperature of 0 degree celsius now let's see what are the application of back pressure regulating valve in a refrigeration system first it prevent damage to a liquid chilling evaporator which might result from freezing of the liquid okay it prevent frost forming on a air coiling evaporator where this is close to freezing point or where temporary malfunction cannot be permitted to interrupt operation permit two or more evaporator working at different temperature to work with the same compression modulate the evaporator pressure according to a varying load controlled by load temperature act as a solenoid valve controlled by a pilot solenoid valve okay so this is basically very important that why back pressure valve is provided in a vegetable room and handling room and why not in the meat room and how it is controlling the temperature having one compressor unit now i hope after watching this video all doubt regarding back pressure valve will be clear if you have any doubt please do comment below i will revert back now if you want to have a complete knowledge of each and everything of the refrigeration system please go to the play section and watch the complete series of refrigeration where each and every component like lp cutout hp cutout compressor condenser evaporator everything is been thermostatic expansion valve everything is explained please do share and please do subscribe please subscribe so that to keep us increasing so that we can bring such type of video to you and we can also get motivated so please do subscribe and please do subscribe and be in your home be safe and have a good day thank you friend